Hi everyone, I will talk a bit about GST Validate, which is basically a testing framework for GStreamer. Um, and what is new in the 1.6 release and the last year we spent, uh, we worked. So there is the Valgra integration. Uh, so now we can run all the validate tests inside Vagrain. We will fail, currently we will fail the test if uh, there are like definitely lost memory or memory corruption. Um, there are many tests still failing, so help welcome to, to get them fixed. Uh, then we have, we can now run several tests at the same time, like launching sub processes. So it goes much faster to just run all the tests. And uh, we cleaned up the, the report uh, GST Validates makes, so you can easily understand what the issue is more easily and uh, go and fix the issue. So we also implemented a plugin system, so you can now add plugins on top of uh, GST Validate. So creating new action types, uh, creating more checks, have very specific checks for, for, for a particular thing. And uh, currently we have uh, those three plugins implemented. So SIM plugin, which allows you to verify that uh, the videos correspond to some uh, reference frames. So for example, uh, you can put anywhere in the pipeline, you can say, uh, I want you to check the frames that are coming out of the decoder or out of the compositor and uh, verify them against the reference file that you have to check first uh, by yourself manually, but then you can just run it and check that there is no no regressions. Uh, we also have a GTK plugin, which is basically uh, implementing actions types uh, for GTK, so you can test your GTK app using GST Validate, it's a bit weird. <laughs> but the idea is like to have the, the action system uh, to put that outside GST Validate. So we have components more clearly defined. Um, it's a long-term goal, but we'll get to that. And we have a fault injector plugin, which is basically um, adding actions. So you can, for example, um, drop packets on the network or reduce the, the, the broadband and uh, or yeah, change, change very various parameters of your network. Um, we have new test and um, yeah we have no very clear separation be between the test launcher and the test suite implementation so there are no two different repos and it's it's clearly defined what does what which is logical but it was not done in the first place um, we have many more uh, the tests in the default test suite the one which runs uh, all the time on on Jenkins um, we can still add more more tests. We are missing a lot of things to to add, but we have like around 500 tests now, and they are almost all passing. We have like four that are still racy, but <laughs> we'll get to it. And uh, we have a new test suite also that verifies all the filters we have in GStreamer. So it builds basically it builds uh, for a, a video filter. It will build a simple type pipeline with a video test source, put the filter, and then the fake sync, and it will just change the properties of the, of, the, of the filter and do a lot of tests like that. So we make sure that, basically it's to make sure that they, they, um, they respect the gesture protocol, that because there are the monitors, they are monitored and everything, and uh, it also allows us to make sure that they actually can work and do not crash, because it was the case. When we wrote that test suite, we had like many plugins. If you change the property, that was just crashing the features. And um, also, we now have a pretty intensive test suite for the gesture editing services. So, yeah, many tests for that. And basically, that's it. Good question. Yeah. How many feature tests do you have? Uh, feature tests. How many feature refresh tests? Uh, around 500. Okay. Yeah. It's really easy to add new tests. The the problem is to fix the bugs that it <laughs> <laughs> that it untapes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really integration test. It's not it's not unit test. Yes. Yeah. 
That's true. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the Aug Demux, I think, that has some rays or something. But the rest is just walking now. <laughs>